Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live for Beer Pro Korea. Going to be taking on Winner Manly Seagulls in uh, in round five. Coming off another nil all draw, which is always, it's always just very deflating. <laughs> you know, I mean, I guess we haven't lost yet. Our career, we have not lost a match. There's been two nil all draws and then one good solid win. But uh, other than that... Um, as uh, we got Travis Burns here, Matt Seamark, always a good solid player. Um, you know, winner Manly or oh, Brendan Brendan Gibb, Brendan Gibb, John Torrio. Brendan Gibb was always tipped to be like a, a future Broncos second rower. I don't really know what happened to. Him. I know like years and years ago, he was. I think yeah, he was at the Norse Devils. I'm sure like ages ago. I think that's like where he was like at his best, and I, I, watching him, I thought, this guy's really, really good, and then, you know, he was always tipped to, to get into the Broncos team, and then, he just sort, he just sort of fell away, because he was, he was very similar to, like, Josh Maguire, and he, I think he was around the time of, like, Matt Gillette, and those type of guys coming through, Brendan Gibb, and just didn't really, didn't really make the cut, I guess, but, uh, yeah, oh, no, <laughs> so, if you didn't watch last episode, I got quite uh, quite frustrated with our AI teammates turning over possession after getting through a gap, and that is not the start. We we fired a beautiful ball onto our centre. He got through the gap, and then he just turned over. He just turned over possession. I mean, it's <laughs> it's tough, dude. As Aaron Rockley almost gets the try line, I don't know how he didn't just slip over there. As uh, the kick goes up, no, it doesn't. Gets charged down. We swoop on it, but we are going to get rounded up. Unfortunately, we don't have the speed. To burst away there um, would have been nice. There's a beautiful ball there across to the winger again. He's through the gap, thankfully. Just hold on to the freaking footy. We got it. We got a good chance to press the attack here. That's that's the biggest frustration, dude. It's sometimes tough to make your way down the field in these games because you know the defense is solid, but also your, your forward pack isn't like bursting through and making 50 meters every time. But when they when they throw the ball away just cheaply, is a great kick there, Peter Gubb takes it and uh and gets swamped back into the Angola pinpoint kick peter gubb i never i, I honestly never really liked peter gubb but um <laughs> the common bloody ben Iken used to absolutely love peter gubb um i was no not ben Iken. um sattler <laughs> sattler used to love ben Iken and and the other whoever else was on at the time they love peter gubb and he i think he signed with the warriors a couple of years ago, I think he played a couple of games for them, but uh, never really, never really did too much. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure he played a couple of games, uh, Peter Gubb. But you know, he was a bit, he was a big winger. That was sort of his his go. As a good little ball there. The I, I'd say winner Manly, honestly, uh, of uh, honestly on the ascendancy here. They they cut the momentum. I I didn't know what I was talking about there for a second, but they. they They've definitely got the ascendancy. They've got the momentum going. They're making more ground up the field, but we're just hanging on. Is that pass not a good ball? That's our mistake, but also why the hell did our teammates not get on the loose ball? They just sort of watched it as the Seagulls swooped on it, which was, uh, pardon the pun. Um, but yeah, very, very frustrating, dude. Our, our AI teammates, I'm very much looking forward to, to signing to a new club. I'm not going to lie. I mean, the, the Falcons... Nowadays, for the last couple of years, they they are very very strong, but um, not nah, you know not the best in this cream mode so far. They're frustrating me. They're frustrating me to to no end. <laughs> um, I think I'm trying to remember. Like usually, it would usually take about two or three seasons before you make the the first grade. Um, depending on performances and stuff, because I I think. I actually can't. It's been so long, but I think your first year, I think it's only a one-year contract, maybe two. So we're, we're either going to be with Fo the Falcons here for one or two years. And then I think the, the next contract offers will probably only be um, to another Q Cup side, but potentially to, a, to an NRL side. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, that's, the, that's the fun of it for sure. As uh, we come back from the half, and uh, as you can see... As you can see, it's a nil all scoreline, unfortunately. <laughs> it's Mitch Fry. Mitch Fry puts up the bomb here. It's not a bad kick. He gets batted down, but thankfully our players were 
were covering nicely and scrambled back to to swoop on the on the loose footy as they're uh, going to look to beautiful ball back on the inside he passed it away to Jai Ballinger through the gap. Ballinger, I don't think he's going to go all the way. Peter Gubb is chasing. He's going to make the tackle, but Ballinger just takes it up to the 20 meter line. So all of a sudden, a great little turn. That was a great ball from us to get our, our boy away. As uh, the big step there tries to pass it away. Why did we pass it? Oh, no. Oh, and I was just talking about how I was frustrated with the AI. We could have scored. Oh, I was just trying to get a nice try assist, dude. We got through the gap. That was a great little play from us. We got the initial line break, and then and then we 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 turned it over. It's right here. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe it? We, <laughs> Mitchell Bucket scores. We came up with a huge shot, and the ball knocks backwards. Mitchell Bucket sneaking through a couple of defenders, and just like that, Winner Manly are going to get the first points. I mean, honestly, at least it's not going to be a nil-all score again. But, yeah, disappointing. Daniel Ogden, a, uh, a good young player as well. I don't know what happened to Daniel Ogden. He probably still plays in the Q Cup, but uh, he was a live wire. He's right here. Oh, we cop a shot, unfortunately. We've, we've, <laughs> again, we've tried our heart out. We, we came up with that one error where we probably should have just scored ourselves. And then that one right there, I mean, that's taken it to the line. You cop the big hit, you drop the ball. Not, uh, not, nothing to be too concerned about, but I think we play, we've had a good game again. It's just been a, it's been a frustrating one. And then, uh, Brendan Gibb, I was talking to him up at the start and able to, to burst his way through a couple of would be tacklers and, and make this game pretty much, uh, pretty much a sure thing. Could have been so much different. Could have been so much different as Daniel Ogden again is going to make no mistake so 12 points to nil. We get a couple of minutes left in this match. Justin Olam hasn't really seen any footy, so that's I mean that's one issue. We haven't really got uh, we haven't really got Justin Olam into the game. Although we haven't honestly we haven't really needed him. We've been pretty good um, regardless. There's a nice little bit of offloading there. Play gets into the gap here. That's the one time you should bloody offload it, dude. But he just holds it, and that's gonna be the end of the game. A 12 nil win to win a manly seagulls and. Uh, yeah, our first, our first loss in, uh, in the cream mode. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.